Kong left his hometown to the city for nearly 20 years. He followed his parents to Hanoi from the age of three. His memories of his countryside are not many, because his parents rarely take him to his hometown, due to work or geographical distance. Now, an adult man, coincidentally with a one-week vacation, he decided to follow his aunt to visit his hometown, where Kong's parents grew up here. With the bustling life in the city, he never believed and never showed fear about the ghost stories. The visit this time is also an opportunity for him to testify on the story of the unjust death of the virgin girl Lan, the story his mother had told a few years ago. He thought, going home time to change the atmosphere a bit. In the city, it is always dusty air. Then try out the village cemetery, to see how the face of the ghost's face is. If not, he will return. Teasing his mother about the ghost stories that his mother told him. That day was the fourth day he was in the countryside. One dark night, he decided to go alone through the graveyard to see if there were ghosts. He went, went on forever but saw nothing, but heard the rustling noises, when his feet stepped on the dry leaves. Far away, there are bright lights breaking out from the ground. He knew this was the phenomenon, of phosphorus burned in the air. Even so, suddenly there were creepy feelings in him. He began to sweat, limbs trembling and chilling on his spine. He decided to return, plucked his flashlight back. He suddenly felt a cold hand on his shoulder, causing him to jerk. When he turned out, a beautiful girl wearing a white shirt, without buttons, looked very sexy. The girl looked at him giggling. What do you have to be afraid of? Good, but I thought. When asked, it was known that the young girl was in high school in the village he was relieved. The two of them sat, then talked for a very happy time. The girl whispered. Are you afraid of ghosts? Everyone all afraid about the ghost. The girl chuckled again. You must not be this village. I'm living in Hanoi. I'm here to visit my relatives. Where is your house? My house is at the beginning of the village. I was in the city before but I moved here for three years. The girl said as she approached him. Kong expressed interest, forgetting he was sitting in the graveyard. The scent of the girl's hair made him fall in love. He was like drunk in love. His mind was gradually. He wrapped his arms around the girl's waist. The girl was shy. Her thin shoulders, the buttons that didn't put on her chest, reveal the tightness of big round white breasts. Along with the dim light, that made the girl's body more attractive. The guy was out of control, and the two gave a passionate kiss. When the two were lovingly, suddenly the girl asked. Do you often go to the graveyard? This is the first time I go. And you? The girl answered. When I was alive, I also pointed out that the graveyard is only once. Hearing that, the guy with a pale face pushed the girl out and ran off, also forgot the sandals. But somehow, run forever without leaving the cemetery, he ran, ran to exhaustion. Then he rolled to the ground unconscious. It was morning, he suddenly woke up and find himself lying in a wild hut in the field. Too scared, he rushed to the village. He inquired more specifically, about the story that his mother had told. The summer of three years ago, there was a girl about 16 years old in the province returning to the village. She is the grandson of a man in the village. A late outing, afraid of being scolded, the girl of should go off to the cemetery quickly. She was going, then met the boys in the village drinking wine. They dragged the girl into a hut in the middle of the field, and tore off all the clothes. Even though the girl begged against them, 
the more excited they were. After that, they pressed the girl to gang rape. One after another, as if they were swallowing the naked body of the teenage girl. Until morning, the young girl was exhausted and dead. They pulled her naked corpse into the cemetery and left. By noon, when people working in the fields were on their way back, they detected the body of 16-year-old girl. A person felt that she's so poor, she took off his shirt to cover the girl. From then on, people often see a girl wandering between cemeteries, flirting with boys who go off to the village. Since then, Kong began to pay more attention to the spiritual stories surrounding him. He also began to care more about the incense and worship work at home. The work at before, how his parents forced him did not even bother to touch. You just heard the story about Virgin Soul. See you in the next videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support Andy House.